Say so, hey guys, what's going on? Cell here. Um, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. And I've noticed that there's a lot of... I want to say just general negativity uh, showing up on YouTube. And I've noticed a lot of people that have normally been pretty chipper are getting negative themselves. And I'm not going to say that, like, one's connected to the other or anything. I watch a lot of gaming channels. I've noticed that the gaming channels now do this thing like GameStop pisses me off or EA pisses me off or something to another. Oh, what? by the way, we're playing Splatoon 2. I'm kind of doing my thoughts, so if you hear me just kind of, like, stop in mid-thought, it's probably because I'm trying to defend myself or something. But... Do people do that with their channels because it's easy, or is there really that much of a content spike for doing that sort of thing? Oh, it looks like this is the place to be. Shoot. So I've been thinking about it myself and the direction I want to go with this channel, and I know... Some of you guys don't really understand where I'm going yet. I don't think I understand completely where I'm going yet with this channel. But I do know I don't want to be like those other channels. Like, I'm not going to say I'm not going to sit here and not talk about problems with the gaming industry and stuff. But I don't see a need to be so upset that I'm, like, having a hissy fit like a small child or something. I really don't get that. I don't, I don't get all the anger. And I was noticing with myself it was really affecting... Um, my mood throughout the day. Like, I'd watch this stuff in the morning and I'd just feel like crap in the day and I couldn't really... And I'm the type of person, like, if somebody's angry around me all the time, I'm just kind of like a sponge. And I just absorb that. And it's not necessarily the best feeling in the world to me. Alright, let's bomb the crap out of this. And maybe why it's why I've started the research back into Nintendo again. Oh, got him. Because there's something kind of pure about a lot of Nintendo characters and stuff like this. We're trying to paint a map, not necessarily kill anybody. And nobody really gets killed, they just get respawned, I guess. I don't know. Something about the cutesy art style and stuff, but I enjoy it. And um, maybe... That's why I like this, is because I feel like these kind of games are just fitting my lifestyle a lot better right now. And yeah, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. But I really want to spread a positive light in the gaming industry. And I'm still trying to figure out just how to build my channel uh, in itself. But I feel like, I guess what I'd almost want to say is, like, I would hope that. Oh, okay. Forgot that that blows up. I would hope that other gaming channels kind of also try to do that. Like, kind of see where... Like, there's a lot of these channels. Like, I don't want to name too many names, but like, RGT85, um, Dreamcast Guy. I've noticed, like, their content started to get a little bit more ranty and a little bit more angry. And that's had an effect on my mood throughout the day. And I've heard a lot of YouTubers and content creators go like... The thing I love is that you can have a bad... We actually won that, didn't we? Awesome. Cool. I wasn't really contributing much. But, you know, like, I watch, like, Game Chasers, for instance, and I wish they had a bigger following than they did do right now. But the thing I always want to tell them is, like, every time you guys put out a video it makes my day because it's one of my it's one of my favorite things on the internet right now is game chasers and I wish there's more episodes but I understand their situation is getting harder to find stuff like they found a lot of their games that they want already so they'll always have that archive that I can go back to regardless of that they're so happy to hear from people saying I was having a bad day and I saw you guys had a new episode out and it made my day and I know with different Twitch streamers, um, some of the bigger ones like Dizzy Kitten, uh, Luna Lyric, um, and even uh, my friend Femme, 
I'm sure that makes their day when somebody says I was having a really crappy day and I saw you popped on and it made my whole day. But now I'm like, and I'm hearing this from other people too, a lot of these channels are kind of dragging people down. It's like, but not really realizing it, not putting two two together. And I was doing that to a certain extent and not realizing it. And if I had done that in the past, I really apologize. Um, it wasn't my intent. I think it was because of the environment that I was currently in, and my, and my environment at home has something to do with it, too. I'm, not everything's, you know, all glamorous over here, too, but I really need to make a conscious effort to really make this a fun, relaxing place for you guys. And that's what's really important to me. And you can't paint the walls. I don't think I've been on this map yet. That tells you how much Splatoon I've gotten to play. Now I've played this map, I recognize this part. Okay. We'll paint this and then we'll go someplace where we need to with the bombs. Guess I kind of wasted that. I could have better spent that, but oh well. So I guess what I'm trying to say, guys, is I, I see what's going on out there, and I'm trying to make a more positive thing for you, and I want you to realize that. And if I'm ever, like, out of tone or anything like that, I want you guys to be sure to let me know about it. Like, don't let me get away with that crap. Call me out. Um. Oops. This is the weirdest music I've heard in this game yet. This is so stupid fun, though. So is this like the country map? By the way, if you have a Switch and you haven't been playing Splatoon... I don't know, if you see it on sale, I'd give it a shot. We definitely don't want to fall. Ah, right in the wrong spot. And I'm trying to improve my channel as well. I guess that's the other thing I'll bring up while we're at it, since I'm just kind of in a general mood just to talk about things. Uh, so I've heard what a lot of you guys have said about the first level. Um... I kind of agree that it can be too long at points, and I think I want to do some things different. So I did the, I released like kind of like a rough, I guess, very rough idea. It's like a beginning of uh, first level as far as like, ooh, I killed three, awesome. Four. Okay, I don't think we won that, but... Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it was that last minute push. Awesome. So, I've been thinking about a lot of things. First level, I like doing, but I think there's some changes we can do there. Um, as you notice, I can talk more clearly when I'm not playing a game. Um... I definitely think, and I'm going to change some of my gear, that if I edit the video a little bit more, so it's more like snap snap, like a little bit quicker going instead of like a long draw, I think that will be better for you guys in the long run. Uh, we're going to go for dullies right here, and everything else is fine for right now. We'll just leave all that alone. Alright. Um... So there'll be some changes there. The pickups video is very rough, but it's... I've got this idea that I want to go do... Like, a video where I start off, I go pick up... I go look at games, I go pick up the game. I don't know how to do that yet. I'm also looking at getting a new camera, so we'll see. Um, and then from there on out, uh, then it would go into the captured footage and me talking about the game. And then games that I really enjoy, I don't know if I call it the first level anymore 
but I definitely want to go back and revisit it and talk more about the mechanics and the things I learned in the game and stuff. Not so much a review, just... Because if you look at something like Giant Bomb's Quick Looks, they're much more structured. Like, they've been playing those games for a while where I've just literally have just popped the game in most of the time. Um, sometimes I'll start the game up just to make sure levels and stuff are okay. But other than that, I don't play the game. Um, I just make sure the sound and stuff is going to come through fine, balance with my microphone and everything. Which, with my current capture, I guess I don't really need to worry about that as often anymore. Um, so... I'm coming up with ideas. If you guys have anything else you would like to see, I'm also going to do eventually um, more playthroughs of games. But this is a crawl, and all this stuff is going to be, you know, put out um, over a period of time. Like, we're still only looking at, like, maybe one, two videos a week. But I wanted to give you guys a clear idea. I did, when I first told you guys about this channel from coming over from a lot of you came over from awesome hardware I wasn't really quite sure where I wanted to take things <sighs> you're screwed air raid haha <laughs> I can see you through the targeting system that's a good thing about having that. Oh, okay, it's my guy. It's like, what the hell? Ah! Move! Move! Okay, good. Oh, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. These are some tough opponents here. Ah, he got me. That was okay. That was a good run. He's got his airstrike ready now. This map I'm not as familiar with. But I'm really not. Whoa. Where'd that come from? There goes the airstrike. Some of you guys are so unbelievably good at this game. And yeah, I do use motion controls in this. <sighs> he just hides. Camper. Yeah, that one probably didn't go so well. Yeah, I think they got that. Oh, well, you can't win them all, right? I love this new Elgato card that I got a little while back, though. Um, so 8-bit if you watch this, thanks, because I'm actually playing this on my computer screen just through the record software. I don't even have to, like, put it on the thing. So anyways, guys, that's some of my thoughts, feelings. Um, yeah, I'm just in general really sick of a lot of the negativity out there. Um, uh, you find it everywhere. Twitter, the news. Like, I was telling my mom the other day, I can't remember the last time I turned on, like, the news and saw anything positive on there. Um, and it's been eating away at me. And it's been really hard for me to, like, want to sit down and make content for you guys or do a stream or something because it's really been rotten away um it's like like i said i got enough negative crap in my own life to deal with i don't need to bring it in here to you guys and i don't need to uh put out the others and i guess my call would be is if you're a content creator think about that and think about the content you're putting out because i'm sure anybody that creates content oh, that's pretty cool looking would want somebody to leave watching that content having a good day See, I'm lost. Where do you do this at? I want to make tags like this. And from what I remember, it was like a Wii U thing where you could do it, but I don't know how you do it anymore. Or if this is just like pre-canned stuff that's in the game, I, I don't get it. But these, I think these are all real people, so... 
I don't know. I don't entirely understand this game. I'm really happy when I did get to play it, though. I just love the style. It reminds me more of a Dreamcast game. Maybe we just... Is he peeing, or is he... What is he doing? For a minute, I thought there was a stream coming out there, and he was just peeing on the road. I was like... Okay, that's pretty dark, or pretty strange for a Nintendo game, but sure. Anyways... I know, this is like a random video, guys. This is really random. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to put some of my thoughts and stuff out there about the channel. I do know that a lot of my stuff is rough. Uh, the best practice is just to do it and get better at it as you go along. So, um, you know, I used to do a technology gaming channel, and now I'm just doing straight-up gaming, so it's a little bit different for me. So, just give me time. I'll get used to it. I'll get better. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I gotta hit the button. Here we go. Uh, you know, comment down below if you have anything to say, any suggestions of stuff you'd like to see, and I'll see you guys in the next video.